Hi friends, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you Unit 5 of my Early Learners Math Curriculum. I already showed you Unit 1 in a previous video, so if you're interested in that, here's Unit 1, and I will leave a link to that below. Um, but here's the curriculum, and it is going to have 11 units. Here's Unit 5. Unit 5 is addition, so let's get right into it. There are five parts to each unit. The first part here is the teacher's guide. Now, for this unit, I decided to print out the teacher's guide small like this so it all fit on one page because I figured um, that would help me save a little bit of paper. But if you saw unit one video, I printed them out. Here's unit one. I printed them all out separately. So you can print out the teacher's guide just like this if you prefer. It provides checklists and things like that. It provides um, skill lists. Um, but for Unit 5, like I said, I decided to save a little paper, and since it's just for me and it's not for the student, I printed it out like so. Okay, so then the next um, part of this curriculum is these. These are the reference charts. So every unit has reference charts. Since this unit is all about addition to 10, it has addition family reference charts. Here you can see. Um, I printed mine out in color, but you can also print them out in black and white. And it gives the student um, the addition family and it also gives them a picture reference. So here's um, the five addition family. So here we have 0 plus 5 equals 5, and then there's a visual picture. 0 plus 5 equals 5. 1 plus 4. So here's 1 plus 4 equals 5. Um, so it gives them a visual along with the addition family for each of the 10 addition families. Here's 7, here's 8, here's 9, and here is 10. Okay, the next section of this curriculum are the interactive worksheets. So here we have a cut and paste for numbers 4 and 5 and a cut and paste for numbers six and seven, and a cut and paste for numbers eight and nine. Then here we have 10 frame sums. So they have to decide um, what the missing number is to equal 10. So here are the 10 frames, and so this would be eight plus two equals 10. This would be six plus four equals 10. Now they can write it with a pencil, or you can make it a little bit more interactive. I showed you this in uh, unit one, and this these are just number tiles, but you could use number magnets, whatever you have, to kind of make the worksheets a little bit more interactive. So here I could do 8 plus 2, and the child would grab a, the number 2 tile and put it on their worksheet. That way they could also reuse the worksheets later on if you wanted as well. So here would be 6 plus 4 equals 10, and I would just grab the 4 and put it here. Or of course they can always write it with pencil and do the worksheet just like that. Okay, the next worksheet is a roll and add, so they're just gonna roll the di a die, and then they're going to add and write the sum, or they could add and use their number tiles to put the sum down, and um, they're just gonna continue on until all of the problems have been solved. This one is making five, so the other page I showed you where they were making tens, this one they're making five. They're gonna use two different color crayons, so like a blue and a red, and they're gonna show different ways to make five. So they would take the blue crayon and color in one, and then take their red crayon and color in the rest, and that would show one plus four equals five. Then they could take their blue crayon and color in two, and their red crayon and color in three, and that would show two plus three equals five, and so on. So they're gonna do that to show different ways to make five. This one is baseball sums, so they're just going to add and write the equation. This one is a spin in color. I like to use a brad and a binder clip, or a pencil and a paper clip and, um, to make my spinner. And as they spin, if they spin a six, then they would color this one because this makes six, four and two. Um, and then they would just keep spinning and they would color, if they you know, spun a seven, then they would color one that equals seven, and so on. This one is hot dog sum. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna cut out these hot dogs and they're gonna use them to help them add. And then this last one is a pumpkin match where they can cut and um, put the number or they can use their number tiles. So here I have four plus three is seven. So I would put a seven there or I would cut out the seven and put it there. Um, so that is how they would do this page. Okay, the next section is um, this unit comes with a unit test. All of the units do. And so here's what the unit test for unit five looks like. It's addition those two pages. Now, um, the next part of my curriculum is the interactive games, and I call them the interactive centers. And um, 
Here are some examples of them. I showed them in another video, except for I didn't show two of them. So I'm gonna show you two of them today, but here are just some examples of them. Um, we've got the puzzle, this mass star rolling game where they add. Here is um, triangle number bonds. I keep all of the activity centers in these plastic bags and um, I keep them labeled. This one is going bananas for sums. That one's fun. This one's the doghouse sorting where they have to sort the addition problems to the doghouse. This is an addition match game. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly show you some of the centers that I didn't get to show you um, in my previous video. I will leave a link below to that video so you can see all these centers uh, in action as well. But um, here's one that I didn't get to show you before. And um, this one, they have these cards and they all have addition problems on them, as you can see. And here I have um, just some, these are actually erasers that my son likes to use to help him add, but any kind of manipulative if the child needs it to help them add. So here I have two plus one. So I'm gonna have two red cars plus one green car makes how many cars? One, two, three. So he would count and he would add. If, if the child still needs practice, they still need a manipulative. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna write their answers. So here, this one equals three, this one equals five, and this one equals two. Um, I'm using a dry erase marker because I have laminated these so it will erase off and we can reuse them. Okay, so then after I've done that, I'm gonna use my follow the code page. And here, this problem was in green, so I'm gonna look on the green, I'm gonna look for my answer, which is three, and I see a W. So for this box, it's gonna be a W. Here's red, and my answer was five, so I look for red, and my answer was five, so it's E. And this one, my answer was two, and it's B. So it should make a word, and it did. It made the word web. And then the last step, the children are gonna look through their cards and try to find the matching picture. Here it is, web. So this mystery math was the word web. Then they will go on and try to figure out what the next one is. Okay, this other one is um, called Count On Edition Puzzles. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna use these puzzles to help them count, learn to count on when they're adding. So here is seven and then two more, seven, they can use their finger to touch, eight, nine. So seven plus two equals nine, and they're gonna match it up. Now another thing you could do, I like to use these little manipulatives. They're just pom-poms glued onto magnets, and they, it gives them a tactile um, way to practice. So here's seven, and they would do eight, nine. Seven plus two equals nine, and I will put that on there. Teaching kids that you start with the bigger number and then you count up. So here, this one is three, four, five, six. And then they would ma find the m matching piece. And you guys have probably seen something like this before. These are um, just addition cards where they would clip their answer or they could cover up their answer. So for example, this one equals five. So I could use these and I could cover up the five or I can use those little clips and I could cover it up. So those are just some more examples of some of the centers that come in this unit. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys. I will leave links below to everything. Bye.